Hello, welcome back to the Barrett channel today for a brand new video. We are out in the rain in Shanghai bringing you content. And this video is gonna be a special one. We're gonna be doing 24 hours in Shanghai showing you the best coffee shops and the best bakeries in the city. Now this is a brand that started three years ago and they've made it their passion to bring more sustainability to coffee farmers by encouraging people to drink higher quality coffee. So we're gonna go inside, check it out. So something really interesting and unique about this specific store is they've done a collaboration with a streetwear brand. Um, so they've actually called the collaboration name Inner Fact, which is a, a merging of the two brand names. And actually in China, coffee's a fairly new thing. Um, so it tends to be a big crossover of the audience from streetwear to coffee. So they've got this really cool aesthetic in here. And yeah, it's a really nice vibe. So as you know, the Barretts love their coffee. We are in the first shop here. They've given us a sort of a range of uh, things to try. So we've got the regular latte and flat white, which are our two favorites. They do a cold brew here, which I'm interested to uh, check out because I've not really tried many cold brews. Right here, we've got Japanese cheesecake and a raspberry. I'm back. And a rose raspberry cake with raspberry jelly inside and some petals on top. So let's dig in. That is so nice. Really creamy, really light. Got a hint of vanilla. Better not eat, eat too many of them. <laughs> so be getting me porky. You're gonna be wanting some of that, mate. So latte would usually be my uh, my go-to. So mm, that is super smooth. Super smooth. In a fact, have got it going on with our lattes. That's a fact. And that, that is a fact. That is an inner fact. So this is their house flat white. Let's see what it's like. Mm, it's nice. I like a flat white because it's a little bit stronger, a little bit more bitter. Gives you a bit of a wake up as well, which I'm needing right now. So this one is golden top, look at that. And this one is supposed to be an infusion of magnolia, peach and rose. I'm excited to try this. That really is kind of floral. I've literally never had any coffee like that before. It's a premium price, but you do sort of, uh, you get what you're paying for, I guess. That is really good quality coffee. Max. What's your dog's name? Max. Max, Max, Max. Come here, come here. Yeah, you oh. <laughs> Patrick, Ruby, thank you so much for hosting us. Thank you for coming by. It's yeah, great thank you very you. much. It's been a great, yeah. Catch you later. Thank you. On to the next one. Now with a growing number of coffee shops arising in Shanghai very recently, how do you stand out from the market? Now Hini Chujol, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, think they've found the answer. With this mysterious hole in the wall, no branding, only a QR code to scan and order your coffee, they've taken social media by storm. This place opened in November last year, 2020, and it's been all over social media as of recent. It is raining right now, so there's not a queue. On a sunny day, there's people queuing all the way down the street. So we're gonna order and uh, see how they uh, deliver it. Like many things here in China, you're now using your phone to order, um, which I'm trying to do right now. So everything on the menu at this place is 20, 20 RMB, which is pretty reasonable. Hey, look at that. Xie Oh, it even comes with a rose petal. Look at that. Get one, ma. Oh, xie Oh, look at that. I've got rose petals. I got the lot. I reckon she's got I reckon she's got a little thing for me, don't you reckon? That's why they're doing well in marketing. There's a bit of a trend in China at the moment where if you can create a, a new store that people will take selfies at that's, our, that's, that's the marketing strategy here, I'm telling you. 
That's actually surprisingly nice for 20 RMB. That's not a bad coffee, I'd go there again. Right, are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> We've just eaten at a bakery, on to the next bakery, get some more sweets in the stubby. Let's go. We've come to Le Pan Show, and this is rumoured to be one of the best bakery coffee stores in Shanghai. It's very busy here. They've been around for five years and they started in Shanghai. They have numerous locations. We have an oat milk latte, we have a pan au chocolat, we have a pan au raisin, and we have this croissant with some nice either French or Italian ham on it. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting stuck into these because especially this croissant and this pan au raisin, they're two of my absolute favorite pastries. This is the first ever time I've tried an oat milk latte. I've never ever had one of these before, so uh, cheers. A slightly different taste to a standard milk latte. I can't really describe it, but it's a very, very smooth, smooth tasting um, latte. So first of all, I'm going to give this a try. And this kind of ham is one of my favorites. I know this is going to be good before I even try it. Oh, man, that is absolutely delicious. You've got a bit of saltiness in the ham. The croissant is just like so tender and, and buttery. A bit of pepperiness off the rocket, that's super, super good. Again, that is superb, it's light, it's buttery. It's not got too many raisins in it. That is really, really good. Okay, so that's the pan show done. That was absolutely excellent. We're now on to the next place, so let's go. We are right outside in the rain in one of the nicest bakeries in the whole of Shanghai. As you can see, it's prime location with the Bund behind us. Unfortunately, it's in the clouds at the moment, so you can't see much of it, but this is an incredible bakery. The name which I'm gonna butcher again is Salon de Tour de Joël Robuchon. How do you reckon my French is, mate? I reckon that's pretty good. So, sat in this very prestigious bakery here on the Bund in Shanghai, named after the very decorated chef of Jean Robuchon. This cafe has been open for five years. It opened in 2016. So there's only two of these stores and they're both in Shanghai. And I'm pretty sure this is one of the best views you're ever gonna get in a bakery. Right here, I've got a baked Parmesan cheese tart. And I've never had something like that before, but we're gonna taste it. Oh man. So what's that like then? It's like rich Parmesan cheese flavor in the middle. Generous serving around the outside. Really soft pastry. That tastes so nice. What so did you nice. go for drink wise? We've had about 900 coffees so far this morning. So to get off my caffeine high, I've gone for a hot chocolate instead. But it's, a, it's kind of a small cup. So I better not drink it all at once. It's good enough to good enough to drink that one. Now, this is the most preposterous looking croissant I've ever seen in my entire life. It's a banana chocolate walnut croissant. Probably like this is diabetes on a plate, let's be honest. It's, it's sort of full of all the calories you could ever want in a lifetime. I haven't even managed to get inside yet because there's so many walnuts on the outside. And you can actually see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you can see a piece of fresh banana right in the middle there. I'm gonna have to take another bite to get a proper 
understanding of the flavors. You got all the flavors going on there. You got the banana, the Belgian chocolate, you got the walnuts on top, little bit of icing sugar, crispy as hell, flakes flying everywhere. Can't go wrong. Next up, apple turnover. Now, look at the glaze and the shine on that baby. Mm. I actually didn't expect that to be as nice as it is. Brambury apples, rich with cinnamon, crispy on the outside. I bet you're wanting to come over and try all these, aren't you? I am, yeah. Donate my apple turnover, <laughs> man. All right, tuck in, man, tuck in. That's us done for the fourth and final coffee shop and bakery here in Shanghai, China. If you want to see more of this style of video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button. If it gets a lot of likes, we'll bring more of them to you. Let us know which was your favorite one down below in the comments. If you want to become a member of our team and get exclusive content, hit the links below to Patreon. That is very appreciated. We will see you in the next one for now. Take care.